We're back looking at some of the top freshman running backs from the 2023 recruiting class. And today we're going to be looking at Samuel Singleton, running back, four-star, who's going to Florida State. Before we dig into this, make sure you tap that subscribe button. Give that a quick tap, a click of the mouse, whatever you got there, so you don't miss any more of these videos. Also got a catalog of prospects to look at here on the channel, so you're going to want to look at those. And soon, we're going to be rolling out clips from training camp left and right for the rest of the offseason. So you don't want to miss out on any of that. Also, fantasy football analysis is going to be rolling hard all year long. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. But let's dig in here. Let's look at Samuel Singleton. Every time we look at the 247 Sports Player Profile page, then we look at the highlights. If you just want the highlights, just fast forward a little bit. You will get there. Size, we're looking at 5'10", 178 pounds. I say this every time. These are older listed weights and sizes and measurements. His size is probably different now. He could be buck 85, buck 90, 200. Who knows? Let me know where you see him listed at. Let me know. Put that in the comments below. Enrolled 6'1", 2023. So just recent. We're in July right now. So it has not been too long since he signed with the Seminoles. RB24 in the regular rankings, RB27 in the composite, four star on both, 73rd player in Florida, and 68th player in Florida in both those sets of rankings. Had 31 offers though, so that means the market was hot on him. But again, recruiting sites don't get all the offers and all that stuff, so there could have been some more, but they got 31. It's still a good number. Looking at some of these teams, because I imagine you got recruited by more Power 5 teams than that. Looking at this, Florida State. We got some Boston College, some Cincy, EKU, Iowa State, Kansas, UK, LSU. There, there we are, Michigan, Miami, Michigan State. So Power 5 schools here, Ole Miss, Penn State, Tennessee, were recruiting him. 31 schools were looking at him. Sought after prospect. 10.86 100 meters so we can cook and he does 200 meters that means he's got some long speed on him as well so that's good to see don't have much of a scouting report they talk about his track times here which we just saw 6.4 yards per carry 105 yards per game so this guy got you production we got 1000 yard season 900 900 37 total touchdowns on his career looks like we're catching the ball a little bit Good things to see. Let's look at this four-star running back who's going to Florida State, Samuel Singleton. Let's look at the highlights. Let's see what we can see out of him. We got about five minutes, almost six minutes of highlights here. So we should get some good tape out of this. Let's take a look at him. Looking at him run. He looks bigger than his listed weight from his frame. He looks thicker. Looks like he's got a little thickness to his frame. He looks thicker than his listed weight already. I think this might be his junior or sophomore year highlights. Catches the ball. See him turn up field. Moves laterally well. Falls down. Is he alright? Oh, man, he keeps going. That's good balance. That's very good balance right there. Just to keep going. Look at the speed there. He does have some speed. That track speed's showing. Ooh. Look at the cuts. Don't slow it down, please. Just let it go. We can tell. Let it go, man. Don't slow it down. We can tell what's going on. That's one thing that bothers me about highlight tapes. Is my pet peeve is when they slow it down. They shouldn't be slowing it this down. Like, I want to see his speed. I want, it, I want to see it pop. Even though I know he's kind of slowing down his run. I, I want to see it all at full speed. Is that it? There we go. There we go. They, they're having equipment malfunctions or something. Why are they doing this? Here we go. I'm sure people clicked off because of that. Another one. Slowing it down on us. And here we go. Dude's got some pop off the step. Dude's got some pop off the step there. Look at him. Separate there. Look at that. There, that guy's coming in on him a little bit, but no. He holds it. That's that 200 meter speed right there. That's that 200 meter speed. Man, look at that. There we go. Going on the outside. Cuts it up. Hits it. He hits it. He's, he's got some jets on him. Is he the fastest back in this class? No, but he's got speed more than more than enough. And I like the burst on him. I like the burst. 
for the weight they got him listed at, he looks thicker. He looks more compact. He looks very compact. I want to see a closer look up on him. Uh, he's got a little thickness on the legs. See the hamstring hanging out a little bit. Look at the feet. They're going good. It's a feel. He's got a quick turn on them feet too. I'm talking about turns like the steps. Because either a long strider, short strider. And if you're short, shorter strider, if you got a quick turn, it looks good. It's, it's got a nice quick turn there. He moves laterally very well. You see that pop to the left. He covers a lot of ground ladder. Look at that power. He's hard to bring down. Hard to bring down. Tough run. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. We're going to do a little wildcat. Circle him off, please. There we go. Thank you. Let's see what we're going to do here. Let's see. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, we got a little hurdle. We got some speed there. On the outside, he's getting circled off. Hand off. Blows it down. Good contact balance. That, ooh, and change the directions. This is nice. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, this guy's got swift feet. This guy's got quick feet. Look at this. Pull away. Oh, he slips. This guy moves very well. He changes together. Moves like no other. He, he, he's one of the best in the class. To chain together moves. He moves laterally well. You got to have good vision to do that and good timing. Good feel. There we go again. There we go again. He's got a lot of burst too. Covers a lot of ground moving laterally. You don't see all the running backs doing that. Pops it. Hits the outside. Finds his lane. And there we go. There we go. Gets the handoff. Hits the crease. You want to take this outside? Don't slow it down, please. Look at that. You got a little stiff arm there. Got a little stiff arm there. Hits it. Something's going to happen. This guy's got very, very good contact balance. And then he's got wiggle to go with it. He's got the best, one of the best wiggles of all the running backs we've looked at in this class. I'll say that. He's very compact and good balance. There's a lot to look at on this dude. There's a lot to look at on this dude. This guy is under recruited. I'm saying this about a lot of players back here because I go in my mental role decks of what I've watched from the top running backs and I see some attributes that some of the other running backs don't have. It's his wiggle and that balance. And then he's got pop off the step. So that's solid. Whoop! Moves laterally very well. One of the best lateral movers in this class. I can already say that. And then he's got a dump truck on him too. He's got some thicker legs. I like that. Hits the outside. There we go. He's tough to tackle. He's slithery. Excited to watch this dude. A lot of Florida State fans are going to come on to this one. Got some burst. There we go. You saw the pop there moving to the second level. I saw something funny with the blockers down there. I, I was watching him, though. He's in my peripherals. Hits it. He moves, he's swift. He's got some burst. I wonder what his vertical is. He's got some burst on him. Hits it. Drags people. There we go. There we go. Cuts in. Cuts out. Gonna cut back in. Ah, oh, they got him. He's fun. He's a fun guy to watch. He, he is one of the best lateral movers ever. In this draft class, one of the best we've watched so far. We watched about 25 running backs so far this year. He moves laterally very well, has a good pop off the step, and he has the long distance running to boot. This guy's got speed and athleticism, good vision. He is under ranked in their rankings, I believe. There's so many good running backs, it's hard to really pump him up too much higher. But I think Florida State snuck one on us. And I think he's going to really work his way up the depth chart there. He's going to have some opportunities. He keeps playing well, keeps developing, keep working in the weight room. There's a lot of good opportunity with this guy. I like his burst. I love the pop off the step. And I want to see him work more in the passing game. We didn't see much of that. We saw, what, a couple of receptions on this highlight tape? I know he can catch the ball in the backfield. You move like that, you can break off routes. You move like that, you can break off routes. It's so simple to sell routes. All it takes is a couple of days of camp. You'll figure that out. He moves very smooth. I can see him really breaking some ankles out there. I'm not worried about that. We saw him catch the ball a little bit. 
he's going to be a fun guy. He's going to be a fun guy if he gets up there, keeps developing, gets the opportunity. He's going to be fun to watch. But that's Samuel Singleton from Florida State. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Catch you on the next video.